ladies and gentlemen, Republicans will immediately begin impeachment proceedings. This is an article, NBC News article from yesterday. Quote, this is an investigation of Joe Biden, the president of the United States, James Comer said. This is a complete paradigm shift of the, from the past four years. It's a sea change. It is exactly what is needed in this country. When you have people in power actually committing crimes and getting away with those felonies, while at the same time accusing Trump of everything under the sun, I wouldn't vote for Trump if he had private servers with top secret intel that he siphoned from secure locations. I wouldn't vote for Trump if Eric Trump or Donald Trump Jr. had a laptop from you know where that had incriminating emails like, how can you use your influence on our company's behalf? Or thanks for introducing us to the president. And a whole bunch of 10% to the big man. Read the New York Post emails. We can do that now. Or sorry, the Hunter's emails that were broken by the New York Post. Read those articles in the Federalist, in the Daily Mail, in the New York Post, and every single day on this channel, ladies and gentlemen, we will talk about the entire system having to deal with Trump and Trump Republicans. Thank God. We had record low poverty under Trump. We had record low poverty under Trump. And his last year, you talk about the most apoplectic reaction to a serious topic, a serious issue. That wasn't Trump gleefully tanking state economies in New York or Michigan or Illinois or throughout the country. Every time Trump wanted to open up, you got the New York Washington Post, ah, too soon, too soon. And so before that year, his last year in office in February, we had record low unemployment, 2% inflation, record highs in household median income. Every demographic group was doing better. Our country on the world stage was infinitely more influential than it is now. And that's a fact. There's no, there's no debating this. You can blame, you can blame Trump for everything. You could, but there's no debating that in February of Trump's last year, before media, experts, authorities, bureaucrats, and Twitter converged to really traumatize the entire planet country. You know, just because something is serious doesn't mean you have to act in the most apoplectic manner and silence and suppress speech and debate, discourse, discussion. The reason the Democrats love federal agencies working alongside a company like Twitter is that nobody would listen to them were it not for a coerced, fabricated consensus. Obviously, they love dissent. They love an opposing viewpoint or a rebuttal. They love when that's suppressed or silenced and censored. Of course, they like that. You think they want to, you think they want to defend their vantage point? No way. There's no defense of their vantage point, really, other than if you don't do this, the sky will fall, and then you get smart people say the same thing, the sky will fall, and then the smart people who disagree are bad people who should never have been born. Anyway, you have obvious felonies. They're going to be investigated. It's a criminal probe, and it's an impeachment. He'll be impeached on potential felonies. There are statutes against graft and potential bribery. Hit subscribe to this channel at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. This is the 11 a.m. segment. Today, I will have a live stream. We will do um, numerous up, uh, videos and uploads on this channel as well on what takes place. As I'm doing this segment, I'm not sure if McCarthy is going to have one, two rounds, three rounds. I don't know if he gets it in the first round or the second round. I don't know if exactly what takes place, but I think that the de facto speaker will be Matt Gates and Andy Biggs and Steve Scalise, Jim Jordan, James Comer, these people who have political power within the Republican Party. It's a Trump Republican Party, thank God.
It is a populist, anti-interventionist Trump Republican Party. These people do not worship. You might not like their personalities, morally superior, highly educated liberal Democrat, but they don't worship these sacred cows, these they don't worship sacred cows. You can list a number of the sacred cows, but they don't worship media. They're not beholden to um, politics as usual. And if you look at Trump's track record in terms of the economy, there's we have household median incomes at record highs, inflation at 2%, and he got us out of America's longest running military conflict. It's a moral imperative to vote for a Trump Republican if you don't want endless counterinsurgency conflicts and quagmires on the world stage. It's a moral imperative if you want a better economy. Okay. Democrats have tried to merge morality and ethics and goodness and decency into their political um, ideology, which is hilarious because these are the people who frame and create McCarthy-era politics and worship intelligence agencies and all these other sacred cows. And if you disagree with them, they'll disown friends and family. I mean, that is a cult. That is what a cult is about. Okay, People are part of some kind of unhealthy, dysfunctional, nefarious organization don't want to associate with you if you don't believe the same thing they do. They have no ability or patience to debate their viewpoint because they get a visceral reaction, an apoplectic reaction. So hit subscribe to this channel. Be here at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. every day forever on this channel. And 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. I had a 9 a.m. today on H.A. Goodman's other channel and a 12 p.m. in one hour on H.A. Goodman's other channel. Be here today. We will be front and center. I'm glad that I, I had a segment, yes, the other day on Matt Gates that did very, very well. He'll be the de facto speaker, according to Newsweek. So, again, it is not going to be, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to have, you're not going to have the same business as usual. The pendulum has swung back to Trump, Trump Republicans. But see, this is the first time Trump never had sessions. See, this is the thing, like, People who don't understand politics or don't really understand, like, what happened to Trump, they, they say, oh, he doesn't like anybody, and everyone falls out with him. Media is will do their best to destroy anyone around Trump. And also, he did pick people that did not act the way, let's say, Merrick Garland or um, uh, Eric Holder acted. Okay, Sessions was Trump's attorney general completely betrayed him, started a special counsel against Trump. Do you think that a special that Merrick Garland will begin a special counsel investigating Hunter? No. James Comer, Jim Jordan of the House Judiciary, Comer of the House Oversight, they're going to do that. The impeachment proceedings are criminal investigations, unlike an ellipsis with Trump. Oh my God, he told somebody to investigate Biden. Oh, he didn't even say, do this. It wasn't like Biden saying, you're not going to get a billion in loan guarantees unless you do this. When they get caught with their hands in the cookie jar, they'll give you a rebuttal and they'll call it debunking. When it's just a vapid rebuttal, that's oftentimes meaningless. It's a battle for emotion. They don't want you suspicious. So they hide behind this, this very weak type of uh, plausible deniability. They'll say, well, you can't prove. And then with Trump, Anything in the known universe is his fault. And, and they, they have evidence, although they can never prove it in the court of law. That's why he wasn't indicted for January in Georgia, in New York, his tax returns for being an operative of the Kremlin. Everything they're wrong. On, they're literally wrong on everything. And we can go and we can talk about what they're wrong about. They're wrong about everything. But almost everything. You can't say Democrats are wrong about everything. Almost everything. That being said, God bless you if you're watching this channel. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to at least give some kind of positive statement I think that I need to if you're a democrat left-leaning person god bless you have a beautiful 2023 may all your dreams come true it doesn't matter if you're left right center it doesn't doesn't matter if you're american or if you're around the world australia anywhere in the world india anywhere in the world you're watching this channel whatever your 
political viewpoint is God bless you. Have a beautiful, beautiful 2023. I hope it's the best year for everyone, regardless of political viewpoint. But make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this year is going to be constantly on the, the media is going to be constantly on the defensive. The Washington Post, the New York Times, every article will be a oh, phony impeachment, fake impeachment. Oh my God, is this really serious? I mean, come on. I mean, look, you know, you can't prove anything, but what the Kushner, what Kushner did was worse. It's no comparison because you look at the emails and just like the DNC emails that showed that they cheated Bernie Sanders, you're talking about very despicable, nefarious people who do things because they have cover, because media will always go to bat for them. But no longer. This is the first time Trump, that's my point for the past four minutes, first time Trump actually had backing in government. He's never had a government back. He's never had government backing, ever. He's never had a government. They say, well, Republican Chad did that. He never, Paul Ryan, you might as well have had Pelosi. You might as well have had Pelosi. Paul Ryan and, and, and McConnell and Sessions. And Trump had to battle uh, Mueller. And Mueller found nothing. That was a catastrophic failure. So there you go. Anyway, big day today. Hit subscribe. Impeachment has already started. And tell your friends about this channel. We're growing. Thank goodness. We're about to hit 202,000 subs. Thanks, everybody. I'll be back today for the live stream. And be here in a couple of hours as well because I'll give you an update on what happens with the speaker vote. Thank you.